not much uh, aggregation here. Yeah. All right, so let's see what different amounts of compost start to do to this. You don't have those medium-sized pores. You've got very small pores, and when they shrink and swell, then you get frost action or or drought. You get the big cracks, so you get those make big pores. Um, but it's starting to crumble a little more. But you have a limited window for when you could actually do this. You, you've got a, a, a narrow range of soil moisture that you could actually get in there with a tiller and do this. So this isn't something you could do when it was already baked like a brick or completely saturated in the spring. Now, would I would I be applying this onto uh, the, the surface and then tilling it in? T potentially, that would be uh, one application. So if you had a, uh, a, a disturbed site that was less than 5% grade and you wanted to restore a working topsoil-like condition, and didn't want to truck in loads and loads of topsoil. This could be a strategy to try to revitalize. So I'm, that I'm using the existing soil, which is basically clay, just amending uh, a compost mixture to it. Yep. This is just kind of to see what these what the material does when it's mixed with these different soil soil types. So this isn't necessarily a uh, best management practice that's listed on any menu of BMPs, but it's uh, just to show how these materials blend together and how it can change the characteristics of the soil. So I've got more compost in here than clay at this point. So you compact it now, it doesn't completely stay like a brick. And again, it would, it would take a while to really get it worked in well together. But if a, a rain fell on this blended soil, versus just the clay, think about how, how that would run off or soak in for the two, the two differences. Again, clay, clay is a challenge, there's no doubt about it. Um, you may still need to put a mulch or other cover on top of this blended soil, but thinking back to that pure clump of clay, which one's going to germinate grass seed as well? If you're, if you're seeding a site, is that, is that going to work better? or? Adding in this is going to work better. It's, it's apparent once you once you see it. So that's kind of what we're trying to show here is uh, how you can change the characteristics of the soil.